I went to an Ivy League school. I buy $15 waters. I wear Gucci and Versace. I went to Dartmouth, which is an Ivy League school. I could pay for it because my mom died and I used her life insurance money to pay for the school. I do not buy $15 water. I use a Brita filter because $15 water is insane. Correct. I collect Gucci shoes. I like Gucci shoes. I went to college, grad school, worked seven days a week, and built a social media platform that I work on every day so I could afford these shoes. Furthermore, there are plenty of white individuals that flex the fact that they have planes, cars, Gucci products, and you don't seem to have any issue with them. In fact, when white men tend to flex the fact that they have money, people tend to say, oh my gosh, that's amazing. While when anybody that is black and queer flexes the fact that they have any type of success, it is seen as cocky. You may be like, oh, well, I'm gay. You could still be homophobic. Well, I'm not racist. You could still have racism embedded in your soul. I'm tired of people looking at my lifestyle and thinking that you know my story. Just because I was smart enough to use my mom's life insurance money to pay for Dartmouth doesn't mean I'm a rich kid. I don't have parents that pay for anything. I work seven days a week. I don't, I don't buy $15 water. I made a video about $15 water that produced $15 of income from TikTok. And yeah, I wear Gucci. A lot of people wear Gucci. If they didn't, Gucci wouldn't be a company. It's just, it's crazy to me how haters are randomly born because they get an idea of who you are in their head and that person isn't real. You've created a super villain, made me the main character of that villain story and now I'm just walking around and you hate me for no reason when you don't know who I am. It's not fair. I hope this helps.